What's going on everybody? Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I got another Vegas Pro 18 tutorial for you. And today we're going to be going over some more cool new things that are in Vegas 18. And just in case you weren't aware, Vegas 18 is also included in Vegas Post, a full-on post-production package that includes Vegas Effects, Vegas Pro, and Vegas Image. I'll have all the information and affiliate links linked in the description below if you want to check that out. So let's go ahead and jump into Vegas 18. All right, so we're in Vegas Pro 18, and the first cool thing that Vegas 18 uses is artificial intelligence. Vegas has a deep learning software that created so it can use the two plugins style transfer and colorization using AI. The second cool new thing is that Vegas 18 has a GPU driver update utility. So if you go up to help and then you go down to check for driver updates, you can click that. And this is going to tell you what graphics card you have, what version you currently have, and what version is best for Vegas. So sometimes you'll have a version installed that's newer than the online version Vegas is telling you about. And that's because that online version Vegas is telling you about is the one that would be better for video editing. It may not be better for gaming, but if you wanted to render the fastest and have the most efficient editing, you want to go with whatever the online version is. Now, depending on your graphics card, you can go to the type down here and click it and it shows you the game ready driver or the studio driver. Typically, if you want better video editing performance, you want to go studio driver, but you can also do game ready if you want it as well. Under here, it provides a download link you can click and go to, or you can hit this download button. The next cool thing is the new 8-bit project properties. I'm going to drag a clip into the timeline real quick. And this is of me. And I'm going to go to the view, go to window, and go to the vector scopes. And I'm going to open these up, mount them right here. And we can see that the darkest point of my video is below zero. And the brightest point's almost at 100. But if we go up to file and go down to properties, we're going to go see our pixel format. And if we click this drop down, 8-bit full range is brand new. They had 8-bit in Vegas 17, but they moved it to legacy now. So the difference between the video levels and the full range is the video levels are clamped and showing you a clamped preview, and the full range is showing you the full broad range of the footage you have inside Vegas. So if you have full range selected, what you see here is what you're going to see on a monitor, on a TV when you play it back. But if you have video levels, one of these two selected, then whenever you play back your video, it's going to be a little bit darker and it's going to be a little bit more stretched. So we click video levels and then I hit apply. You'll see it clamps down. If I go back to full range, hit apply, you'll see it widens up. Same thing with 10-bit footage, which is 32-bit floating range. If we click it, hit apply, it's clamped down. And if you have full range HDR on an HDR monitor, you can click full range, hit apply, and then start editing that. But I don't have an HDR monitor, so this will look really weird. So whenever I'm editing, I always make sure I do 8-bit full range. The next cool thing is Vegas included hardware decoding for .mxf footage. So if you shoot in .mxf, which is footage that's really meant to be transferred between different types of video editors, Vegas can now decode it and you can edit it more efficiently. The next cool thing is they added event handles. Event handles are the little extensions on the side of the clips that they use in the movie studio products. So if you click this little hamburger tool right here, you can go down to event handles. And then whenever you hover your mouse over a clip, you'll see these little blue things that extend out from the edge of the clips that allow you to grab the edge of the clip further inward. So it makes it a little bit easier to grab things. Event handles are something a lot of people like. I use them all the time and they've now added it to Vegas 18. Another cool option they added is alternate high DPI settings for monitors with different resolutions. So if you have a setup like me, I have three monitors, my middle one's 1080p, my left one's 4K, and my right one's 1080p. So if I ever do any video previews or move these little windows right here over to the left side of my monitor, they get extremely small. So if you go up to options and you go down to preferences, and then you go up to display, you're going to see a checkbox at the bottom that says use alternate high DPI settings. If you click that, hit apply, you're going to have to restart Vegas. And I drag it to my left monitor, you're going to see the size of the window get huge because it's amplifying it up for my 4K monitor. And that's because my 4K monitor is scaled. If I drag it back into the 1080 part, it's going to shrink back down to normal size. So that is an awesome thing that they added for people with monitors with multiple resolutions and different scaling. The next cool thing is they added a new internal menu. Normally, if you wanted to go in the old internal menus, you'd click options, then you'd hold shift, and then you'd click preferences. And then normally an internal tab would come right here. But in Vegas 18, if you hold shift and then just click options, they have a new internal option appears at the bottom. So if you select that, 
then you have your preferences that you can change. You can change a ton of things in here, like it's limitless, it's humongous amounts of code and all this stuff. You could totally break Vegas if you do not know what you're doing. But there are some cool things to change, maybe like something small, like the default track height or something. If you type in that word, it filters out everything except for something that has that word. So we have right here, default audio track height, default video track height. You can change those to whatever size pixels you want. So I'm gonna say like maybe 58 or something. That's like my sweet spot. Then I can do 58, hit apply. So if I hit okay, and then I make a new track, it's gonna be smaller. But that's a really cool little window that they added. Next cool thing they added is you can import and export your Vegas 18 preferences. So if you have like your Vegas set up perfect, the windows layout's good, the track height, all the internal settings all change how you want. If you go up to options, you can go down to export or import preferences. So I'm gonna say export preferences because let's just say it's perfect. And then you just navigate to where you wanna export them and it saves it as a VegPrefs file. So I'm gonna save mine right here. And let's just say you have to reinstall Vegas and delete all the cache and do all that. And you don't wanna remake all of the awesome preferences you have. Go back up to options, import preferences. It's gonna tell you you gotta restart Vegas after you import these. Hit yes, find your Veg Pref file, double click it, and then restart Vegas. And then bam, you have all of your preferences back. Super awesome and super convenient. The next cool thing is screenshots. Normally, if you take a screenshot up here, sometimes, depending on the heaviness of your project and all the things going on, it would take a long time to make a screenshot. But in Vegas 18, they made screenshotting nearly instantaneous. So I'm gonna go up to the floppy disk, select it, choose where I wanna save this picture, hit save, and then bam, screenshot's done, no loading. Oh man, instantaneous. It is so much better than Vegas 17. Normally, if I have a big project and I take a screenshot, then it takes me maybe like, I don't know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds for the screenshot to finally appear in the project media and for Vegas to be unlocked. Having an instant screenshot is awesome. And those are some of the coolest new things about Vegas 18. And there you have it. If this tutorial helped you out, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there because that'll really help me out. And if you wanted, you can support the channel through Patreon. I'll have the link in the description below. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. And I want to give a special shout out to all of my subscribers up there at the top. Be sure to check out their channels for some awesome content.